Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Crooked Man. When we last left off, we were being interrupted by a TV. Why did it turn on by itself? It's broken? Sink. Yeah! Granted, he probably didn't scream like that. What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? So obviously, there are only two sinks in the house. This one. My apologies, that's a wash basin. We have all this shit on the table. Which only leaves this sink here. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this some other goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Sleep on the couch? Couch, chair, things? Time to go bye-bye. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... But I don't know how to finish my thoughts. Excuse me? Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? The one that lives with his parents? I don't sound like no kid. Heck. Maybe they're lost. I should go check. Yeah. They're, they're just lost. That's freaky deaky. Okay, now it kind of sounds like a kid. Of course, there's no kids here. You must be getting tired. You were asleep. The junk. What was that? Who done it? Who done it? My coffee. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Me. Help me. The coffee says. You, you gotta be. I'm pretty sure it didn't say you, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? No, I don't know, David. Uh, hi. Bon, it's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I was up uh, last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? You already called the man. Ask, David. Yeah? What? Do you know who used to live in this room? Oh, well, I will know you ask the landlady. You curious about something? Well... Seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady. Sure. Later. Hmm. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. So it seems very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. I should apologize later. Oh. Ah, uh, something in my eye. Ow. 
No response. No response. No response. Just a giant crack. Withered plants. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. He said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, no. There's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alright. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Wonder what? Oh well. I'll get back to my room. No, you won't. Damn it. Maybe you will. Hmm. Um. Excuse me. Who's been tracking mud? Who the fuck didn't use this bathroom first? Excuse me, crack in the wall. Can you tell me who did this? Why, why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Like a butt crack? Like poo? I got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Who knows, David? Guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted or killed me either. David. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Whew. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. You sleep a lot, David. Just letting you know that. Like Jesus, man. Do you not have a job? Um, excuse me? Wh what? What was that? I'm actually... What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Hmm... The computer? N no, um... Aha! It came from in here! What? Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? I got a paper with an address. Let's, um... Well, that wasn't very useful. Um... Argus Rhyme. 
Hmm. Maybe it's for this. Holy mother of God, that scared the hell out of me. I'm waiting for you. I'm... I'm waiting for you? Why? How and when, when did it... Yeah, I, I would be pretty scared too. I would be freaking the hell out. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry, you had to sleep with the couch. I'm pretty sure it would be... Like a million times better than sleeping in that fucked up house. Just saying. Ah, uh, I should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But, hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. No, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's love nest. Hey, why you? <laughs> uh, uh, just kidding. Seriously, though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me. Oh, yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just... Somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. Yeah, I don't think they have postcards where I'm going. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. Sorry, but like, apparently I clicked off screen. Come by any time you like. Mm. Are you not going to bother to clean those up? There! Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Ooh, hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do something. Oh, I had to burp. My god, that was bad. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. <laughs> I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. <laughs> Prologue. David's room. End. Well, guys, I think this is a good place to end the video. I will see you all next time when we start Chapter 1, going to this mystical place in the mountains. Till then, see you all later. Goodbye, everyone.